What do you look for in a good TV crime drama? Um, I look for a good storyline because you obviously don't want anything boring or like anything not really happening and good characters and like probably like a protagonist being the best character because otherwise it just might be very interesting to like in Sherlock Moriarty is a really good character. I feel like having like maybe like a little bit of a backstory about the villain is good so you can see like why he's or they. Yes. Know, like what they're doing and like why they're doing it. See, yeah, I agree with you there. Like, I like seeing the villain storyline as it goes because it gives you like different detail because it's not like the like, audience can relate to them. Yeah, you can like see like why yeah. they're doing it and like what's happening. What are your favourite TV crime dramas and why? Uh, my favourite is probably Sherlock because I feel like they always keep a good storyline throughout and there's always like um like. There's like one big crime, which is obviously Sherlock and Moriarty, and then there's like little crimes in between, so you're always trying to guess. And he's like, the character is, he's a bit like eccentric, so that just makes you like always want to know what he's doing next. I like Death in Paradise because you get like a new detective in like every like series, so like you kind of get to see like how different people from like around the world would like tackle a crime. Like it's usually like a death. See, I quite like like Unforgotten, which is like there's detectives like every the same detectives every series, but it's like a different crime, and they're trying to find like a uh, solve a mystery that's like been recovered, like a body that's just been recovered, and it shows different characters each series. Is that good. on Netflix? Yeah, it's on Netflix. What do you like to see in the opening of a crime drama? Uh, what like the opening sequence? Just the opening like introductory bit. Um, probably like with the opening credits, probably like in the background like nothing's a bit weird and like like subtle hints about the character but then like in the opening bit probably something that's a bit of a mystery not something that you're like oh or like something that's too conventional yeah like something that like gives you little hints of what's gonna happen but, but like doesn't give it all away but yeah it also needs to be a little bit different to what you'd expect yeah like it yeah, can't exactly. be like all can't the same boring. yeah it can't be like all like yeah. imagine how boring it would be if every crime drama had the same you wouldn't get that, and it just wouldn't work. And then, like yeah. Death in Paradise, like is always someone gets killed and they always have to find it. So like sometimes that doesn't really work as well as it should. Like it's good, but it gets yeah. sorry, yeah, no, it does get repetitive. Yeah. But sometimes it like it's like the person that you least expect would have killed. Yeah, which is yeah. good. Yeah. Do you prefer to see a new crime every episode or just one throughout a series? Oh, see, I quite like seeing one like every episode. But I don't know actually. Maybe the whole like series because it keeps it makes the relationship between the audience and the characters stronger. I like yeah, having like little good, ones. I, yeah, that, I like yeah. having like little like crimes in everyone, but like the massive one maybe like throughout just like one series also, and like a different crime. Like, like, like you want to come back. Yeah. yeah, and like I said with Sherlock, like there's that one big crime mm. that happened, but they got like little ones. But I just think. Nice I think I think it the helps the audience as well having like little crimes that like just like you know, like keep you interested. Yeah, yeah. like exactly like yeah. a robbery or something like that's not a yeah. major crime, but like stuff like that would help. Do you prefer to see the first scene before or after the credits? Uh, probably, before. yeah, I just before. Think, yeah. yeah, just because otherwise I just don't think... And like you have a mystery at the start then and people are going to want to watch your credits. Because otherwise, if you have like the credits at the beginning, people might just like, also, wait until they're over. Also, credits can be a little bit boring. So exactly, and yeah. And also if they're really long, you might just be sat there staring. And like, like, especially yeah, if you've been watching the whole series, you know what credits you're going to expect. That's yeah, yeah, you just, yeah. yeah, you can just skip it. Like, you, you just know exactly straight. when it ends. Yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. Do you prefer to know who the good and bad characters are from the beginning or do you like a mystery? Um, I probably obviously would want to know what the, who the good character is because otherwise I think that's just like, like you don't know whether to like them or not then. Do you? Yeah. But, then, but then like obviously you want the character, like the, the bad character to not be told until the end because because otherwise like then you know then you can solve it. But you then you should also have enough time towards the end to be able to like develop the character. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't mm. want to just find out what the villain yeah. is. But then, then you don't want to find I out. Feel, like, I right feel like if you have like a lot of suspects who could be the villain that like helps oh, a lot because then you're like yeah. kind of like oh well this could be the person but it can't be because they've done this and like I feel like that helps a lot. So. Yeah. Yeah. Do you prefer fast paced editing or do you like slower editing? Uh, yeah you yeah. do need a mix but I probably prefer slow Paced. I think and you could like bored of that yeah though. no but like slow pace and then at the end it builds up because otherwise so you want to have the storyline that builds yeah. not like tense the whole way through I feel like it, it kind of depends on like what's what going on topic yeah. Yeah. yeah like what's going on like like that. the opening sequence like I think I'd rather have like fast pace yeah oh yeah then, same. Yeah. I feel like it'd be like, a mixture of yeah. that I feel like it'd be a good for a mixture like slow yeah. pace and slow editing and fast yeah okay thanks.